Perfect. Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to a whistle stop build force chat with our guest HS2 joint venture Balfour BC Vinci. Now build force are a construction industry initiative who support our service leavers and veterans transition into long term careers in construction. Now to bring industry to life. On Thursday the 26th of May, we will be holding our Insight Day hosted by Balfour Beauty Vinci. Now the event on the HS2 site, just outside Coventry, will be a day not to be missed. It's your opportunity for a site visit, to get closer to the employers. There will be job opportunities on the day for those about to leave, or you can start planning your transition if you're leaving in the next 18 months. Now we'll hear from Caroline Logan for a few minutes as she shares more about the day itself and what to expect. Caroline will then pass to Construction Director Peter Rigby. He'll share more about HS2 and Balfour Beauty Vinci. And then we'll hear from our veteran and his perspective, Marcus Clark. So delighted to pass to Caroline to discuss more about the day itself. Oh, good afternoon everyone. So my, I'm Caroline, I'm the programme director uh, connecting our service leaders, our veterans and our employers and um, the Insight Days really are my passion not to be missed. Um, so really delighted to be hosting this one on the 26th of May which will be an HS2 specific Insight Day. So it's an opportunity for you to engage with the major contractors and their supply chain an opportunity for you to explore the sector further and the breadth of skill sets there is to offer and of course experience the magnitude of our iconic uh, infrastructure project HS2. So just a bit on the on the employers, most of our employers are ex-military. So again, it's an opportunity for you to talk on the same level, discuss those transferable skills, their experiences of transitioning from military to civvy street and how that works, what that looks like. Um, and an, an opportunity for you to discuss how your transferable skills map across. And just to note that our employers are nationwide. They're not just working on HS2. So again, it's a key opportunity for you to explore other projects, other opportunities that might be available to your skill sets. So the lead contractors that are available, that are present on the day, as we said, Balfour BT Vinci are hosting the day, BBV. Then we have EKFB, so that's Effage Kia for Overall BAM. And then we have SCS, that's Skanska, Kostain, Strabag. And then we have a line when I never get these JVs, I never say them properly, so excuse me. So Volker Fitzpatrick, Sir Robert McAlpine and Buiga. Um, and then we have Mace Dragados, that's Mace and Dragados. We also have the Labour Supply, so that's VGC and Danny Sullivan. And we have a, a many plant contractors as well. So roles that are available um, on the day and beyond, we have project managers, site managers, logisticians, engineers at every level, designers, quantity surveyors, health and safety, plant, trade, business support, et cetera, et cetera. The list goes on. Chances are, whatever skill set you have, we do need you. The 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 project needs you because it is massive. Um, it at the moment it's going from the Midlands to the southeast to the south, and obviously we all know that hopefully it will go on up north as well. So the site is accessible by road with plenty of parking, um, but for those that want to use public transport, that's cool. So we've got a free shuttle bus from Coventry site. Uh, site. Uh, Coventry Station, beg your pardon, to site. So as well as an opportunity to engage with some key industry employers and, and, and see what HS2 is and what that means to you, we also have some bespoke sessions. So we have a site visit and fantastic opportunity. I'm going to bag, bag a place on that if I can. So it'll help you understand the breadth of construction works that are being undertaken on HS2 as by BBV. Um, there's also one-to-one -one career planning sessions all throughout the day. So these will be an opportunity for you to have one-to-one -one time with our veteran employers and explore that discipline further. So if you want to get into pro project management, we'll pair you up with a project manager, et cetera. And we also have some CV surgery for those of you that want to polish up that CV. So a recent testimonial of one of our Insight Days I wanted to share with you. The Insight Day was worth the eight hour drive. 
the opportunity to speak directly to employers was probably the best thing I have ever experienced, discussing my transferable skills and qualifications along with my experience and hearing from them the value I'll bring to their company was most satisfying. My network has doubled on the day and I look forward to attending the next one. So I think really you'd be mad not to attend. So if you want to register, email info at billforce.org.uk. Over to you, Pete. OK, thanks very much. I'll just share my screen. OK, um, first introduction. Um, I'm Pete Rigby. I'm the construction director. I'm looking after a section of High Speed 2 just south of Birmingham in the order of about 600 million. A um, little bit about High Speed 2. So it's a new new high speed. It's the first new high, high speed line in the country. Um, and it takes, a, takes the line from London up to the West Midlands. Um, it's due to be open in about 20, between 2029 and 2033. Um, it's 145, 140 miles long with four new stations. And uh, more importantly, it's going to need north of 25,000 people to work on it. Um, as Caroline said, this is, a, this is an HS2 focused event, but um, all the contractors, including Balfour B. Da Vinci, work nationally. So um, even if you um, HS2 doesn't work for you ge geographically, it's worth coming along so you can talk to the people there to see what else is around in the country, what other opportunities there are. So um, looking further on from um, what Carolyn mentioned in terms, in terms of the day, so we are offering a site tour so um, that you don't need any PPE for that and we give people the opportunity to go and actually see what we're constructing out there and um, that's um, pre-booking before the event. And also, um, as well as the, the usual sort of employer forum, then um, we've got one to one sessions. So whatever part of um, whatever career you're looking at um, moving into, then we'll have people available for, for you to talk to specifically about that role. So if you're interested in logistics or health and safety or, or a commercial role, then we've got those. We've got all those capabilities here. That you can have that conversation um, um, with, the, with those people. And also we're well aware that um, um, drafting up your CV and can sometimes um, takes quite a lot of work. So we've got um, people that are help help provide advice on how to how to move that forward. Um, so yeah, location of roles. Then role, there's role of, roles available all the way from um, north of Birmingham all the way down to London uh, on high speed too. Um, and because the the scale of the project is the largest project in the country. Um, the, the variety of roles there is every every type of role available. Um, in terms of the uh, duration of the project, then the uh, high speed two phase one, um, the main construction we're looking at five to six years worth of work. But any 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 job with any of the major contractors is a uh, is a is a, is a uh, will continue after that. And um, with with if you stay on on high speed two, then um, Phase two A, and as it moves further north up the country, um, could well see ten to fifteen years worth of work just on just on that project alone. We also um, off, uh, we also do mentoring and um, work experience um, placements, and uh, if people want to talk about more that more um, on the day, then we're more than well, more than happy to talk talk through that. And uh, the size of um, HS two is is a once in a lifetime opportunity to be involved in a project of that scale. Um, which is personally why, why I'm on it. So what I thought I'd do is I'll take you through a little bit about the uh, the scope of uh, BBB scope to get a give you a taste of sort of the work we're doing here. Um, overall sort of metrics, um, we're looking at 95 kilometres of high speed track that we're installed in. Um, total bulk earthworks, um, we're shifting, we're excavating about 25 million cube um, which, and about 40 million cube of total movement. A um, couple million cubic metres of structural concrete, and uh, some of the metrics that I find quite staggering are we've got 16 kilometres of viaducts to construct, and well over 100 over and under bridges. So the, this job, this job's on steroids. So current status of delivery. Um, so we finished our early contractor involvement phase, which is the sort of pre-planning phase. Um, that commenced in uh, July 2017 and we got noted to commence um, in March 2020. So we've been in the main the main main um, delivery phase of the project for the last two years, um, albeit a lot of that is on the enabling work side and the project is just starting to come out of the ground 
um, in anger now. Um, certainly on BBV, we've got um, a good five to six years worth of uh, heavy sills in front of us with the rail systems coming in after that. And uh, in terms of workforce within BBV, when we'll have about two and a half thousand staff on our job and a workforce of 9,000. And I, over the last 18 months, I started off with a team of 10. And now I'm now the team I've, we're working on is um, north of uh, 150, um, just in the sublot that I'm working on. And the biggest challenge I have, bar none, is resourcing and finding finding the right people. So a um, little bit more about actually the work that we're undertaking. So we've, we've broken the, the scope down into three main divisions. So we've got the tunneling division. So we've got two sets of tunnels, um, one, at our, one with our, at our interface with uh, EFKB. Uh, so variable density TBM, um, twin bore 1.6 kilometers in length and total diameter of about just under 10 meters. And then we've got another set of tunnels taking the uh, spur into Curzon, underneath Bromford into Curzon Street. Um, another um, variable density TBM, um, slightly smaller diameter, 8.6 meters, um, but with a lot of cross passages. And then you can see some of the um, some of that some of the diaphragm rolling and the TBM um, when it has been manufactured in the photos there. So this is a few photos from our Long Itchington Tunnel portal. This was back in uh, plan view back in 2021, and that's showing it in 2022. Um, so the total TBM length is 125 meters long, and the shield wells weighs over a thousand tons. And each one of the rings, um, they're two meters long, two meter length of tunnel and they come in uh, seven seven segments in the key segment and uh, currently about halfway through the uh, the tunnel drive there so the next division no, next major division we have is a is a major structures division that's based in and around birmingham much more heavily built up area so we've got 11 kilometers of viaducts alone and many of them are what i call precast segmental post-tension viaducts they're very technical um, structures um, as opposed to on sort of precast beams and then the section section I work on, which is the main line division. So the photo you see there is sort of quite typical for us. That's a, a green tunnel that we're constructing through a village called Burton Green. Very, very heavy civils work and um, utilizes a disused railway through the center of the tunnel, through the center of the village. And so one of the biggest challenges we have in the, on across the whole of HS2 is uh, making sure we're a good neighbor um, because we are working very close to all, all the communities we have here. Um, this is another another section that um that I'm working on. This is a um, a a viaduct and overbridge called over Finn and Brook, and uh, I put this photo in because um it just shows the sort of 3D. Everything we design is in 3D, and a lot of things are in also in 4D. Uh, and uh, this is just a show you some of the uses of augmented reality that we're doing at the moment. Um, I like I like Finn and Brook because it's um, a very very tight site, and you're having to construct a viaduct underneath an overbridge that you're constructing at the same time. So this is another another uh, project um, on on my patch. It's um, A46. And I've got a little 3D um, visualization of that if it plays. And uh, what that what that is, we've got a uh, a very busy um, four lane each way um, trunk road um, that. Um, we are not able to build the bridge offline. We've got to build it. We would have to build it online. So instead, we're building a very large box structure um, adjacent to the uh, road, and it's sort of 40 meters wide, 60 meters long, and about 12 meters deep. And uh, just the uh, and it's uh, we're actually uh, over a long weekend. We're going to be digging out that road and strand jacking that structure into place and floating it on a bed of bentonite. So uh, I've moved bridges, various bridges in my time, but I've never floated one on a uh, bentonite, which is a type of uh, drilling fluid. So I'm really personally really looking forward to that one. And that's just the uh, the box being slid into place now. And then uh, put the road back on and uh, crack on. So other other parts of the project. So we have a major logistics division. Um, and then so we have a lot of major compounds we have to build um, batching plants and do a lot of um, deliveries of oversized equipment and that sort of thing. Um, so there is a uh, there's a whole massive breadth of opportunity um, for for people to uh, cut their teeth on. And one thing I want to 
well, I thought it was a key to mention is I've had to interview a lot of people on the, on the, this project. And the three main things I look for are attitude, um, leadership and soft skills and technical ability. Now, attitude and and the leadership and soft skills um, through my work with Build Force and um, and employing um, quite a few veterans on the project. Um, those two things come in built and I find a lot, lot of vet veterans are concerned about their possible lack of technical ability. But for me, this job is a um, this is a marathon, not a sprint. Um, so and the technical ability side is probably the easiest part of those three things for us to teach. Um, so we've um, we've recognised that and because of the scale of the project um, we've set up an entire skills hub. Um, large training facility off site um, to just to the north of Birmingham where we do a lot of our own in-house courses, um, apprenticeships, um, putting people on degree on uh, degree placements um, through CRTB levy and that sort of thing. So uh, there is the uh, so we, we recognise that to attract the size or size of workforce we need, we need to help train everyone um, on the projects. And that's um, my little whistle stop tour um, finished. So uh, I'm Marcus Clark. I'm the uh, logistics manager for Subblock Two Way, and I work with Peter. Um, so I'm just going to talk about my career transition path from um, from the military and how I got a job with with Peter at Balfour B. So having served 26 years in the military uh, in the Royal Engineers, um, I then came to the end of my time. Unfortunately, I came to my transition was through COVID, so it was quite a, a turmoil. Uh, applied, so I'd, I'd applied to put all my um, resettlement at the end of my two year placement. Uh, so I started to did the mandatory CDT, uh, CTP, sorry, placements. And from there, I started working on my LinkedIn and my CV writing. Uh, and then that's when Bill Force came in uh, from LinkedIn. I started to engage with Caroline and Angela at Bill Force and um, they started offering me the, the, the Billford package and that was uh, speaking to them for advice, doing the online webinars uh, and then building my profile out there and they started offering me uh, mentors uh, and then through this mentor process and uh, they put me in contact with um, Peter Rigby who you've just listened to uh, and then me and Peter engaged regularly um, towards early conversations and then towards the end of the month I we chose a slot every Friday that me and Pete would have our own time. Uh, um, basically, he was just interested in me, uh, how my development was going, what I was doing um, and how I was developing my personally for my period from transitioning from military. And he was also there offering me advice on courses and stuff that I should do to, um, to better aid my employment. And this went on for um, a couple of months, about three months. And then um, Peter offered me to apply for a job with Balfour BE, uh, which I uh, then attended. Uh, and, hope, and then I was lucky enough to be successful. From there, I was offered a work placement um, three months prior to my uh, run out date with the military. So for three months, I was uh, in the job, learning the ropes, so to speak. Um, and then from that, I officially started working um, for Balfour BE as of January the 4th, uh, being there five months or eight months in total, if you include the free work placement. Uh, and it's been it's been fabulous. The uh, work life balance is, is perfect. Um, the, the scope of the project just blows your mind. Um, if you like to be, you know, every day is varied. Um, every day is a challenge. Every day is different, and that's especially you know, coming from the military is, is one of the massive appeals to me. Um, and every day there's something new happening. Uh, and literally this week, um, Pete has just been discussing about developing um, his personnel. Um, we're currently discussing um, a five year degree to develop me so I can give back to the team even more. Um, so that's my uh, career and transition path. Um, yeah. If anybody does have a question, uh, just to raise their hands quickly, this was supposed to be a, a short, sharp flavour for the Insight Day itself. Um, so we are looking forward to, to seeing you all on the day. Um, Construction is one of the few sectors where, again, your efforts and your hard day's work can be literally seen. And I think with our construction industry here in the UK being 
global leaders in innovation and technology, design and engineering. We are very lucky to have it here on our doorstep and to have one of the most notable global projects here in the UK. So this is an incredible possible career option for you. So the team do look forward to seeing you on Thursday the 26th. As Caroline has said, register via the website or at info at billforce.org.uk and we will see you all on the day. So thank you for watching.